Okay, hello guys so this is the galaxy m32 and in this video i will show you how to root this spawn using mages on latest firmware update you can see right here it's using the binary 6 on android 13 one ui version 5.1 okay this is the latest version when i'm making this video so <clears throat> i will show you how to read it all the step and file I'll put it in my blog you can check the link in the description box and if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section okay so stay tuned and check it out okay, hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with Ombob and today I have a galaxy pawn this is the galaxy m32 and today we're going to try to root this one okay <clears throat> it's using the android routine on one ui version 5.1 okay so let's go start it first thing you need to do is make sure to enable low m unlock simply by hit the build number five times go back and scroll down to the developer option and make sure that you have turned on the OM unlock right here okay okay and make sure you have <coughs> the same firmware like the pun so if you don't have same firmware like I do you should download the right firmware okay but if you don't want to use my firmware you must download it okay so now let's switch the screen okay uh, before let's see the build number <clears throat> m30 m325fxxxs6 okay this is the binary 6 so you must have the same firmware and here we go this is our stock rom sm m325fvxid on binary 6 okay so you have will have a question where i can get the firmware okay you can get from here the same fw.com says firmware slash blah 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 just find your region i'm using the indonesian region so select the indonesian and here we go okay this is the latest one same like in the pond simply just download the file okay i will put the link also in my blog next you need to open the file and extract to a folder where is it uh, okay i have extract in here okay and next step open the ap file open the boot.emg.lg4 extract to boot emg go back find the pvmeta.emg.lg4 extract the file copy the path and we need to convert the two file into a term format okay let's click 7-zip add to archive and select tar now select uh, now we need to copy this file and also mages into our internal storage okay now let's copy the tar file put it into the internal storage i'll put it into the document folder right here paste it and we also need magis apk okay feel free to use the stable data canary or other stuff okay so i'm using the upper right here just copy and paste it so we are going to have the two file tar file and magis apa <coughs> okay let's switch back to the pond okay now let's find the file manager my file and navigate uh, to a folder where you have file okay i put it into the document folder install the magis apk <clears throat> and if it need permission just give it okay done open it 
and then select install right here select and patch file and navigate where you have the tar file okay so i put it into the internal storage and document <clears throat> and this is the file okay just select the file yet let's go it will start uncompressing patching the file and also uh, compress the file again okay when it finishes <coughs> it will put the file into the download folder okay now let's turn back to the screen computer and now on the internal storage go to the download folder and find where her where you have the magic patch okay copy to the computer and we're good to go okay <clears throat> now we need to turn off the pawn because we want to go to the download mode and for the next step we need to unlock the bootloader so like usual <coughs> the unlock bootloader can be accessed by pressing the flow map flow map down at the same time and then plug the usb cable okay okay let's try it <clears throat> okay now we, we will see the screen the confirmation it is in the korean language i think and after that press the volume up long press the volume up about five seconds until it's shown you another confirmation okay let's press the volume up <clears throat> one two three four five okay it will ask unlock the bootloader yes so we only need to press it once after that it will automatically reboot and format your Internal storage. Okay, press the flow map once. <coughs> Where is it? <laughs> okay, and it will restart. Okay, you should wait <coughs> until it goes to the stock recovery and start formatting the internal storage. After it finishes, <coughs> we need to go to the download mode again by pressing the Follow up and follow me down at the same time like before. Okay, now press again, follow up, follow me down, and this time press to follow up once. Okay, now you're good to go. Let's switch back again, and now let's open the Odin. Okay, go to the option tab, uncheck the old reboot, <clears throat> and find where you have your magic pads okay let's copy the pad right here hit the ap button paste the pad okay and okay <clears throat> okay now just hit the start button it will start flashing the file and when it finishes it's become green and after this we need to format the data one more time Okay, let's switch again. Yeah, okay, now unplug the USB cable. This time we need to force reboot the pawn. So press the follow me down and power button at the same time. Wait about five seconds. When the pawn rebooted, quickly switch to the follow me up while still pressing the power button. Okay, you should wait. <coughs> Sometime we, we will get fail, so you can try several times. Okay, if you fail, force reboot again the pawn and try to press the palm up and the power button <clears throat> until you see the stock recovery. And here we go. Now we are in the stock recovery. <clears throat> Navigate this one, follow up, follow me down, and execute pressing the power button. Okay. <clears throat> Scroll down, using the volume down, select wipe cache partition, hit yes, okay, and then select wipe data, 
OK with power button. Select factory reset. <coughs> and now hit reboot system. OK. Now we must wait until it goes to the Android welcome screen. And here we go. Now we are in the home screen. So first thing you need to do is you need to connect to the internet using a Wi-Fi or SIM card to make sure the OM unlock has been turned on. Okay. Let's go to the settings <coughs> and go to the software update and make sure you have turned off. Okay. If you already read it, you cannot update the software update because you will lose your root access. Okay so let's go to the about point <coughs> so for information and if you want to check the om unlock get the build number five times go back go back again <coughs> developer option so we need to connect to the internet to make sure this option is turned on okay this option will turn on if you connect to the internet okay make sure connect and when rooted you should not turn off the developer option if you already turn it on okay because it will make your phone boot loop make sure <coughs> to follow all, all of my instruction <laughs> if you don't want to get boot loop okay now let's go to the file manager i have copied the uh, <coughs> magis apk right here okay now let's not install the uh, magis apk <coughs> install the apk according to your magis if you're using alpha install the magis alpha apk if you're using magis delta install the delta apk and so on yeah let's open it and usually for the first time it will require additional setups just hit ok and it will automatically reboot in five seconds okay now we are back to the home screen and i have installed several apps get okay, spencer checker root bearer okay, let's open the images and we go now we have successfully installed images right here and from here you can install models or or go to the settings enable jgs and other stuff okay <coughs> Okay, now let's open the root checker. Just want to show you. Okay, your Galaxy M32 32 is rooted on Android 13. Nice. Okay, now let's open the root beer. <coughs> and it will show you the sub binary and second binary is detected. So the point is rooted. Okay, this is dev check. <coughs> Samsung Galaxy M32 G using MediaTek Helios Gate 80 12 nanometer 64 bits. Okay, that's all, guys. I hope it helps you. It's a tutorial about uh, how to root Galaxy M32 using Magis on latest from our update. Okay, so see you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum.